Hello and welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at three of the new brushes in the edge range from DA Components. Now I have to admit when I first saw that Darren had released some brushes I thought here we go another supplier jumped on the bandwagon and released brushes just going to be the same as everybody else's but after using these brushes this week I'm pleasantly surprised to say these aren't just another brush these are really innovative innovative these are these have got some really new design features so the three that I've got here are the heritage which is a flocked or flagged bristle these are all are all 35 centimeters to brushes I've also got the DuPont which is a full DuPont dual trim so you've got the short trim in the middle and the uh, outer longer trim so when you press on the glass it it spreads the outer ones out and then the inner ones are pushing on nice and flat and I have got the Elite uh, as I said these are all 35 centimeters now he also does a full boar's hair and he also does a boar's hair in the center and a dupont around the outside so these as I said that I've got are all the 35 centimeter but he also does the standard 26 centimeter uh, brushes now a couple of things that I really like about these brushes is some of the new things that Darren's got designed into them and the first one I've got to say is the locking swivel now this is all molded in and although it looks a little bit chunky these brushes aren't heavy at all the 35 centimeter ones are around 100, 270 to 290 grams maybe a little bit more for the boar's hair uh, and the smaller ones are around the 180 um, mark 180 grams so although these look a little bit chunky they're definitely not so the way the swivel works is you've got this blue collar here you twist it to release the swivel and the swivel works really nicely been using it all week as I said and it works really well then to lock it you just twist it again spin it right round and it locks into position and no matter how you push on that you're not going to unlock that swivel these swivels that I've got on here are the horizontal swivels so from side to side along the length of the brush but he also does a vertical swivel so up and down as well the next thing that I really like about the brushes is when you've got a water fed pole brush it's normally the corners that wear so he's added a little bit of extra pe uh, plastic onto the corners of the brushes and that's really going to extend the life of your brush it's going to stop it wearing these corner bristles away uh, and just give you a little bit longer the next thing is the molded in uh, bumper now this has been molded on it's a clear non-marking rubber of some description uh, nice and soft so if you're on delicate frames or stonework with the bumper it reduces the noise of the banging but it also is a lot less likely to damage woodwork paintwork or stonework which is a really nice feature and because they're molded onto the brush they're never going to fall off now the next thing or the really big thing that Darren has sort of included in these brushes which I think is the real innovation is the jets now they come on the 35 centimeter with four sets of molded in V jets now these look like two little vertical slots in the brush stock and they've got the quick release fittings on the back the John Guest style quick release fittings so your brush your hose just pushes into them so the V-Jets, although they're a vertical slot, so you'd think the water would be going vertically, they actually send the V out horizontally. So you've almost got a fork of water coming out from each of those jets. And because of the way they're set up, 
they produce, you've got eight VE jets along there, uh, four sets of two, and they produce a really nice stream of water all the way along the, uh, along the brush. Now I normally use a centre rinse bar, but I've been using these this week um, with the V jets and I've been really, really impressed. I like to use a high flow and people say to me, well, if you're using such a high flow, don't you use a lot more water? Well, no, you don't. By using a high flow, you clean uh, debris off the windows a lot quicker and when it comes to rinsing, rather than taking ages, you rinse much, much quicker so you use a lot less water. If you've never tried turning your flow up, give it a go because you will find that it works really well and you will rinse quicker and you'll use less water. Now, you might end up running out of water earlier on in the day, but you still have done more work than if you'd have kept your water all day. So just try it. But it works really well with these V-Jets. So he's also included in this four, you can see it on this one, four 12 mil holes. So these are for the additional jets that you can add into them. So he's got a big range of additional jets that you can add in. This brush here has got uh, four of the, the extra V-jets in. Um, this one has got fan jets, so you've got fan, center fan jets. He also does uh, pencil jets, so little pencil jets there if those are what you prefer. He does over the top fan jets, so these will work like a fan. Uh, like as your normal fan jet that come out the middle, but it will be above the bristle and there on each one is on its own individual screw So if you damage one of them, you don't have to change the whole lot You can just change the one unlike a rinse bar which goes across the top that if you damage it Then the whole thing's shot these act a bit like a rinse bar, but with a fan jet and he also does a um, rinse bar for them as well the one type of jet that I haven't got, that I think I'm going to have to have a word with Darren about, is the V-Jets that he does, the add-on V-Jets, but they come with four jets in them, rather than these that I've got in here with the two jets. So I'd re be really interested to see how those work. The swivel comes like this, with sort of the half gooseneck on it, so you can fit it onto your own gooseneck that you've got on the pole. Uh, or it will come, you can get it with a Euro thread on it as well. Now, as I said, I've been using these this week. Uh, if you follow me on TikTok or watch my shorts, follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I did a gym earlier on this week. Now, that gym normally takes me about oh, an hour to clean. And this week, I knocked a quarter of an hour off that using the uh, uh, flocked brush. So I was really pleased with that. But I also cleaned a school this week. Now the school normally takes a day to clean. And I did it this week using the, uh, the flock brush again, which I really like using. I've actually got used to using a flock brush most of the time and I really like it. But I used this and I knocked about an hour off the complete job this time. So that is a considerable saving in time. So if you're looking for a new brush, whether it's a 35 centimetre or a 26 centimetre, whether it's flocked, DuPont, uh, monofilament, boar's hair, a mixed brush, a complete range of different uh, jet types, um, I don't think you're going to go wrong. You've got a swivel on it as well, you can have it locked. You can have a Euro thread, it just about fits anything. You've just got en just about everything you need. You can even add extra uh, hoses onto these and have uh, eight, eight feeds going into it rather than the four as I've got set up here. But whatever you're looking for, I definitely recommend going over to DA Components and taking a look at his range of brushes. To me, they are um, a, a complete innovation and they are a total winner. So I'm going to carry on using these. Um, at the moment, as I said, they've sped me up and they've really helped out.
So if you found this video useful or informative or entertaining, you could help uh, help support the channel by buying me a coffee. This video hasn't been sponsored. Darren did send me the brushes, but he's not paying me to make the video. So if you have found it useful, go to the link below, go onto the app and you can buy me a coffee. That will cost you three quid and that will help me make more videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Pop over to DA Components and see what he's got, as well as his brushes, he's got loads of other stuff on there, and there's some really good stuff to use. So, thanks for watching, bye for now.